There has been a massive influx of people moving to Georgia over the last few years. And one of the biggest reasons we hear from these families is the lower cost of living. Now, we all know home prices have increased exponentially in the last few years, but for many, Georgia is still a much cheaper option than the states that they are coming from. Or people will decide that Georgia is the place to be since we have four seasons of relatively mild weather, plenty of job opportunities, and beautiful scenery. Whatever your reasoning is, we do have some really great smaller towns with more affordable options that you should consider. Hi, I'm Sarah Maslowski, a real estate agent. I live right here in the Northeast Metro Atlanta area and I specialize in helping families from all over the world relocate right here to North Georgia, just like I did over eight years ago. If you're considering moving to North Georgia and you want to find a town where you're gonna have plenty of options under $500,000, these are the places that you are going to want to check out. First on our list is Pendergrass. Pendergrass is a small town in Northwest Jackson County and it has a population of only 2,000 people. Because it has easy access to I-85, it has become a hub for many distribution and fulfillment centers. Pendergrass itself technically doesn't hardly have any restaurants or stores, but there are several in the area that are very nearby drive away. Now, there's not a whole lot of stores or restaurants in the Pendergrass area. However, in a nearby town called Jefferson, just a hop, skip, and a jump away, you are going to find a lot. Now, as far as grocery stores goes, you're definitely going to have to go to Jefferson to go to Kroger's, Publix, and Aldi. It's going to take you about 15 to 20 minutes to get there, depending upon what part of town you live in. Or you can go over to the Publix in Hushton, which is a little bit closer. Now, again, depending upon where you're living, you're going to use whichever direction is the closest to you. If you get your grocery at Walmart, you're going to have to head to a town like Winder, which is going to be about 30 minutes away, or over to Oakwood, which is going to take you about 25 minutes away as well. Right now, the median sales price of a home in Pendergrass is $374,000, and the average is $476,000. The median sales price is definitely one of the best that you're going to find in our area. Here is an example of a home in that median price point. You're going to have a four-bedroom, three-bathroom home. It's got 2,500 square feet, and this house is currently listed at $369,000. You've got a great backyard and it sits on almost a quarter of an acre, but it has a really nice covered back patio to enjoy the outdoors. And it was built in 2014. There are very few homes for sale since the town is so small. And right now there are only 13 homes on the market. So not a ton of options to choose from, but this is definitely an area where your money does stretch a lot farther. Take a look at this home, for example. This one has six bedrooms, three and a half bathroom home, and you have a fully finished basement for a total of over 4,000 square feet. This house sits on three acres and it's currently listed at $570,000. Now, another area that you should consider is the charming town of Winder, which is located in Barrow County. The town of Winder has a population of just over 19,000 residents and it's a growing rural area that places you perfectly in between the metro Atlanta suburbs of Atlanta and Athens. Athens makes the perfect weekend destination for shopping, eating, it has the best restaurants, ton of breweries, and of course you've got sporting events. Like any metro Atlanta area, Winder is also experienced an explosion of new construction developments as well. They've got a charming downtown area with really great local restaurants and shops, and they also have a lot more grocery stores than many of the other towns that we've mentioned today. They've got Aldi, Publix, Walmart, Ingalls, it has everything. Winder is also home to Fort Yargo State Park where you can camp, hike, and there's also a 260 acre lake as well. So you can kind of putter around and put a small fishing boat in, a paddle boat, kayak around, do whatever you do. Currently, there are 82 houses for sale in Winder. 70 of those are under $500,000. In December of 2022, the median sales price of a home in Winder was $310,000, and the average price point was $323,000. This is the most affordable area we'll talk about today, and we recommend Winder to many people who are relocating to the area and need their money to stretch a bit farther. If you're looking around the median price point, you're gonna find homes like this one. This is a three bedroom bedroom, two and a half bathroom, adorable little home that was built in 1960 and it's been renovated and it's currently listed for $315,000. It's 18,000 square feet. You have a detached two car garage. 
if you're looking to spend a little bit more, you can find a home like this four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, new construction home, or just under an acre. And this one is listed for 575,000. If you are looking for a ranch home under 400,000, Winder is going to have plenty of options for you. Next on the list is Jefferson. So Jefferson is a small town located in Jackson County, which is the county that sits on the southeast side of Hall County, and it's only about 20 miles from Gainesville. This town has a population of 12,000 people, and it takes up about 22 square miles. So it's still a pretty small town population-wise. Jefferson has an adorable little town where you can find some really cool local small businesses and restaurants, and you can appreciate its charm. Jefferson City Schools are also highly rated on both greatschools.org and niche.com, and it's really a sought after school district. There's definitely a shortage of shopping and restaurants though in Jefferson, so you should know that. As far as grocery stores goes, you can have Kroger, Publix, and one Aldi. So when you think about it, that should cover most of your basic needs, right? So you got options there. However, you need to know there is no Walmart or Target specifically in Jefferson. So you're going to have to go to a different town to get access to those. Depending upon where you live in town, it might just be a lot quicker just to go into another town for your shopping rather than head into one of those stores in Jefferson. There's obviously not a mall or anything like that in Jefferson, but again, you are really close to Athens, which has some really great shopping. You're also close to Commerce, which has the Tanger Outlet Center. And so you also have access to stores that are in a lot bigger towns that are close by. You're also nearby to towns like Commerce, Brazelton, Hushton. Those areas are also gonna give you a lot more options for restaurants as well. Currently, the median sales price for a home in Jefferson is $419,000, and the average is $442,000. There are currently 135 homes for sale in Jefferson, so plenty of options. However, 51 of those are all in the same neighborhood, which is Traditions of Brazelton. Now, I love Traditions of Brazelton. It's a really great neighborhood. And even though it's in Jefferson, it's named Traditions of Brazelton because it's a little bit closer to Brazelton. That makes a whole lot of sense, right? There are a lot of new construction options in Jefferson and the town itself has seen a lot of growth over the recent years. If you are looking for a home around $419,000, you're gonna find plenty of options like this one, which is currently listed right at $419,000 in Traditions of Brazelton. It's a new construction, three bedroom, two and a half bathroom home with 2,300 square feet. Now, we often have people reaching out who are looking for ranch style homes under 350 and Jefferson is one of the places we will most likely recommend. So here is a four bedroom, three bath ranch home that's currently listed at 350. It has 1900 square feet and you also have a nice flat backyard. All right, so our next area on the list is the town of Auburn. Most of Auburn sits in Barrow County, which is the same county that Winder is located in. And it is a falls a tiny little bit into Gwinnett County as well. So it has 7,800 residents and it has a total area of six and a half square miles. So it's not that big. Auburn is quite rural. You are going to have to venture into another town for more amenities and things that you're going to want. Auburn is one of those towns that blends right into several other towns. So it runs right into Flowery Branch, Buford, Winder, and Decula. And so even though it's a small town, it doesn't quite feel that way. And this is really nice because you're gonna be able to take advantage of all of those other towns, shopping and restaurants, which you're gonna need because there's not a whole lot in Auburn. You will find an Ingalls in Auburn so you can grab groceries in town, but if you want more options, you are going to have to drive into Winder, which is about 10 minutes, depending upon where you're at, or you've got Decula, which is 10 minutes away, or Buford, which is about 20 minutes. Auburn does have a little downtown area, but there aren't a whole lot of stores there. They have these tiny little shed buildings and a little collection, and they are used as tiny little shops. They're called the Whistle Shops. It's definitely not a place you're going to get much shopping done, but it's very quaint and charming. Auburn actually has plans to create a new downtown area here, and that is going to include a new city hall. They have plans to put in 150 homes and up to 20,000 square feet of commercial space. It plans to have a community garden, coffee shop, and walking trails there to kind of create that live, work, play environment that is so popular. There will be single family homes, townhomes, and bungalows, which are going to be like little two bedroom, two bath 
tiny homes, a thousand square feet. They have started selling the first phase in the neighborhood and this phase features uh, the single family homes, which are currently listed in the low to mid 400,000 range. The average sales price of a home in Auburn at the time of filming this video is $412,000 and the average sales price is $424,000. There are currently 92 homes on the market in Auburn, which is pretty good considering that it is a smaller town. 52 of these homes are new construction that were just finished within the last year and they're now available or they're just about to be available. Right now you can find homes like this one, which is a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom home, new construction, just shy of 2,100 square feet. Now it doesn't have the best backyard in the world, but it is currently listed at right under $400,000. Last on the list today is the town of Pushton. Now, when y'all call in, this is one of the towns that you're like, how do you say that? Pushton? So it looks like it's Hushton, but it's actually pronounced Pushton, like push, push, who knows? So Hushton sits where several counties meet up. So you're gonna find parts of it in four different counties, Hall, Gwinnett, Jackson, and Barrow. On a map, it looks like Hushton is pretty small, but it's actually spreads out quite a bit of a distance with some parts being very close to Flowery Branch and Buford and other parts being close to Pendergrass. You'll often hear of people combining Pushton and Brazelton because they overlap with one another. There's not really a downtown area in Houston. There is a small little strip with one or two restaurants and boutique there, but it's really just seconds from downtown Brazelton. It's really easy to get those two towns confused. You can kind of think of the two as an extension of one another or kind of like the same town. Now, there is a Publix in Houston, but it's practically in Jefferson, really close to that neighborhood traditions of Brazelton. So although much like Jefferson, if you need to go to Walmart for your grocery shopping, you're going to have to drive a Event. You can jump on the interstate and go to the Walmart down in Hamilton Mill, which is essentially Buford. It's only 20 minutes away. Or you can go to the one in Winder, which is only about 15 minute drive. Currently, the median sales price of a home in Houston is $504,000 and the average is $578,000. This is definitely the highest of all the towns that we've talked about today, but that's because there are several higher end neighborhoods and you have the 55 plus community like Chateau Del Webb, which is a lot of new construction, like I said, 55 plus community. And that's kind of skewing the numbers here a little bit. Like pretty much all the towns we have talked about today, there are a lot of new construction communities being built in Houston right now. There is a 55 plus community in Houston called Crestwind at Twin Lakes. And at the front of the community, they have actually built a regular neighborhood, if you will, for families, kind of like where the whole family can live in the neighborhood. You can put grandma and grandpa in the 55 plus community. Here, you're gonna find homes like this one that is a newer construction. It is four bedroom, two and a half bathroom home at just under 2,000 square feet. This house is listed for $375,000. You're also gonna find many more homes very similar to this, like this one in the area. Here is a four bedroom, two and a half bathroom home. It's two stories. You get 3,200 square feet and it's currently listed for $475,000. It was built in 2001 and it has its very own swimming pool, which makes this home a pretty great deal. So what do you think? Would you consider adding any of these towns to your list? If you're looking to purchase a home anywhere in Georgia, make sure you give me a call. You can find my information directly below this video. I would love to help you in your family. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you check out this video for another town you should put on your list.